Well, this was a, a very interesting study that was uh, presented by Deepak Bhatt. And what it was, it was a, a trial of a reversal agent for Ticagrelor. And as you know, the newer P2Y12 antagonists are really beneficial. They reduce the risk of stent thrombosis. They improve uh, the rates of recurrent MI and sometimes even mortality. And so they become more and more popular for the treatment of uh, acute MI, ACS, and PCI. The problem is that there's no reversal agent. They suppress the uh, platelets, and then unfortunately you're prone to bleed. And current guidelines say you might have to wait three to five to seven days before you can do surgery. So that's been a big problem in clinical practice. This randomized trial, which was conducted in normal volunteers, found that if one gives Ticagrelor, it reduces platelet activity by 80%. And when they gave varying doses of an antidote, which was a monoclonal antibody against Ticagrelor, they found that it completely reversed the antiplatelet effects. Happened very quickly, happened within five to 10 minutes of the infusion, and uh, the results uh, were persistent over the course of the uh, intravenous infusion. The interesting thing is once the intravenous infusion was stopped, uh, platelet activity went to a back, uh, down just slightly, but there was no rebound effect. And that's particularly important because you don't want a hypercoagulable effect from any medication to stop, that stops bleeding. Were you surprised by the results? No, I wasn't particularly surprised. I'm impressed that they were able to come up with this uh, compound, um, and it's going to be incredibly helpful. So, for example, if I have a patient that's receiving Ticagrelor and they start bleeding, I want something to reverse that, and you can't give platelet transfusions to reverse it. Also, if I have a patient that needs uh, bypass surgery, I don't want to waste hospital resources waiting for days for this drug to wear off. So it's going to really improve the care of the patient.